having it one month earlier like this i think i might have a guess or a reason why um, if you take you. an afk exam you're gonna have less of a chance of booking a seat for the exam right after for the afk after if you happen to fail the exam you took okay the ndeb has announced the afk registration opening dates for 2024 in this video we're going to talk about these dates and how could they affect your strategy in planning for the afk exam let's get started Welcome back, it's Dr. FS from Scholars Dental. Let's get started with the video. So, um, we could see here for the Feb 2024 exam, um, we have September 20 is the opening, the registration open date, right? September 20, 2023. And for the, and they also gave us the exam after as well, which is pretty nice now. Um, you have the August exam in 2024. The registration open date will be March 7th, okay, 2024. So to understand how this affects the your planning and your strategy, let's put this in a timeline here. Um, so let me draw this timeline. And let's start with the Feb exam, just to make it simple here, Feb 2024. So, and... You know, the, the, it could have been September, it could have been October, it could have been November. So we've seen that the registration opening day could be any one of these months and any one of these months before. Um, and let's just put here the August 2023 exam as well. And we'll get to the August 2024 exam. Okay. So, and here we have March, April, May. All right. So usually in the past, the the registration for the AFK opens in the month of October. I've seen it mostly in that month. And that is equivalent to being in April for the August cycle. OK, based on how many months it is away from the exam date. OK, so. So even for, you know, the future, the 2024 e exams, you could look at um, Feb, uh, here you have Feb, March, April, May. So it used to be that, okay, well, the registration opening would be in October and April, right? In general. All right, so, so now it isn't. So we're gonna delete all this, right? Um, and, or let's just undo it, maybe easier. All right, there you go. So what we see now is that they are opening it or they announced that it's going to be open in September for the Feb 2024 exam, right? And you might think, wait, November? We've never seen it open in November or May. That's a little bit too late, but they have done it before where they opened the registration day for the AFK. They opened that in November, okay? which means it's later or closer to the exam date, right? So people are planning for the Feb exam um, and they're still waiting for their approval. They have a better shot at getting a chance to register or book a seat when the registration date is later, right? Versus when it's earlier and you're still waiting for your approval, then you might not get that approval registration day opens people book it then you don't find a seat for yourself right common sense okay so now but that's not even what i want to talk about right now there's a different issue here so they've already announced the september for the feb ex for the feb 2024 and for the august 2024 the opening day is in march and for this current cycle we're going for the august 2023 exam it also was in March. So you could notice now, wait a minute, they're doing it a month earlier. This is the tre a trend now. Um, is it going to continue? I don't know. But having it one month earlier like this, I think I might have a guess or a reason why. Um, I can't tell you for sure why they're doing it. But if you are planning to take the August 2023 exam and 
you have to wait for your results and that may take two months. So you're going to miss the September opening date for the Feb exam, right? So you now have to, if you fail the August exam, you have a low chance of getting a seat in the Feb exam, right? So what this means is if you take an AFK exam, you're going to have less of a chance of booking a seat for the exam right after for the AFK after, if you happen to fail the exam you took. Okay. What does that mean? Less likely it's, it's a less of a chance for someone to get a back to back AFK exam, not impossible because what if you're a student here, um, you took the August exam, you failed. Maybe your results came out in October and you failed. Okay. But you happen to find seats in a location where it's okay for you. So you booked it, the Feb exam, right? But the priority is kind of who's, 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 be, who's the ones are having the best chance. I said, who's a lot, but who, who can have here the, the best chance to book the September, the people that didn't take the August exam before that. Right? So some people are going to like this. Some people are going to hate it, right? The people that are going to like it are the people that did not take the August, 2023 exam, because now they're going to be like, okay, great you know, the website is going to be less crowded, less people trying to book their seats. I'm going to get a chance or a, a, a priority to take the Feb exam because I didn't take the August exam, right? And vice versa. If I'm trying to book the August exam, I'm going to have a better chance booking the August exam if I didn't take the Feb exam prior. Um, so those people are going to like it and that's fine. Who's going to hate it are the is the other side of the coin. The people that take the August exam, right? And they are worried if they fail, they won't get to take the Feb exam, right? At the end of the day, we all kind of, you know, look at the world. Okay. Is this best for me or not? Right? Um, so if people are going to like it. Are, those are the people that, Hey, I didn't take the last exam. So I want a better chance to take the next one. It's fair. Um, the people that are going to hate it are, Hey, I took this exam, but I'm also planning to take the exam again. I've been here longer. I want to get this done or I've been taking these exams longer. Sure. Um, what is fair though here, I would say is that new whoever's coming. If you took one cycle, if you took the August exam, maybe it's, it's fair to give another person a turn, right? For the next one. And if there's extra seats, then people that failed from that could take it, right? Could book those seats. Um, why do I think this is fair? It's because this way, um, students will less likely gamble with their attempts. Some students do gamble with the attempts. They go like, Hey, I'm just going to book it and go and see what happens. And then if it doesn't work, I'll just take the one after, you know? Um, well you're taking someone else may be preparing well, and now they can't find a seat. Right. Um, and you're probably booking back to back seats now. Um, and you're just, your first seat may just not work out because you're not preparing well. So I would say it's good that, because instead of thinking now that I'm going to get to book an exam and then right, then the one right after you're thinking, oh, if I fail, I'm going to have to possibly wait a year for my next time. Right? Like you're going to, if you fail the August, you might have to wait until the August, 2024. Right? Uh, so I think it puts a little bit more weight on actually taking the exam. Again, you could book it and not go or book it and cancel or withdraw. Right? but it puts more weight on your attempt that it's not only now you're losing an attempt, but you're also, you're getting a disadvantage in booking the one right after. Okay. So I just want people to be aware of this possibility. Sometimes we're not thinking a lot of people are just thinking, Hey, um, you know, moving the exam up is going to affect, uh, sorry, moving the registration date up is going to affect Oh, I need to get approved now faster. It's going to affect if I can start a course or not, or these things. But also I just want to make sure that, you know, if you're, if you're taking these exams now, then you're also aware of this situation that if you take it, there's a chance that then you'll miss. And, and if you take it and fail, there's a chance that you might not get, or a high chance that you're not going to get the seat, a seat for the exam right after. Does that make sense? So what do I think about this all over is, well, I do think there's positives to it. First is that 
the, the thing I already touched base on is that people that didn't take this a cycle before are getting a turn. So, so, um, you know, how do you want to put this? Cause it doesn't have to be new people could be people from a year ago. Right. But let's just call it like new people or new applicants have priority, right? So if you're, if you took this AFK here, then now it's someone else's turn. Then you could get the turn after that. So if you take one, you don't get to book the one right after. You don't get the priority on that one. So I think that's not a bad thing. I think it's fair for the majority of students and it makes you not gamble with your attempt. Only go if you're confident, if you prepared well, right? Now, the second thing is you will know earlier on if you're getting a seat or not, right? So if you have to wait until November to know if you're getting a seat, that's a little bit too close to the exam. Um, usually courses or AFK courses start in September or March, early that September, March, possibly late August. Like we start late August or early September, depending on the schedules. But you, um, but now, you know, you could start the course and then quickly know if you have a seat or not. Right. Um, for example, for us, in our next cycle for the Feb 2024 exam, our course starts in September. And if the exam opening day is September 20, well, if you don't get a seat, then we could offer you a transfer to the next cycle. There are some conditions, but for, for those dates, we're offering people a free uh, transfer if they tell us early on, right? So there's no risk. You could start your preparation. You're only preparing for maybe three weeks and then you'll find out and then you could decide if you want to continue your preparation or you want to transfer right before if it was in october or november sometimes you're two months in the course then you don't get a seat let's say then you think hey i've been preparing for two months should i just finish the preparation or some people don't know what to do uh, most people decide to complete the preparation and sometimes even repeat the course uh, some people decide to transfer right and some people get a seat you know it's uh, just because you don't get the seat on the opening day doesn't mean that you're not going to get a seat. I know a student in our class that got a seat two weeks ago for the August exam. So it could happen, right? Um, some people withdraw. There's other seats that could be, it's not as maybe crowded maybe as, as the times from before when during the pandemic. But again, we, we just don't know until we see, right? Um, the other thing is, so, so that's the other thing, you know, early on, right? So you want to know early on if you have a seat. I'm just going to use keywords here, right? So I think those are benefits to this, giving you, uh, you know, giving others a chance to do the exam. If you just did it, then maybe get, let others take the, the chance to take the next one. Um, and that you could find out early on if you have a seat or not, right? In that case. And again, those are not absolutes. Like you could have a seat and still withdraw and you could not have a seat and find one right later on. Um, so again, to help plan for your specific AFK, right? So everybody has a different scen uh, scenario. Our online course, our AFK online course is very efficient, it makes our students become very efficient and productive in their studying um, abilities. So, so, uh, and, and also internationally, so you could take it from anywhere. Um, book a consultation with us. We have free consults with our team. We could look into your specific case and tell you what's best for your specific situation. Should you take this exam? Should you take the other one? What's the best time for you to take the exam with the least risk or the minimum risk, right? So you could book a free consultation. We'll leave that in the description below. Um, also, if you are taking the August 2023 um, AFK and you're not taking our AFK course or you haven't taken our afk course our one of our most popular events the afk pharma review is coming up in june uh june 23 and 24 the actual live is on the 24th we'll leave a link for it in the description below um so this pharma review we will go over what you need from pharma for the afk exam um we always get really good feedback on it and most questions are answered with this review. You'll learn pharma in, you know, a day, but you do have to have some background. But again, it's if you're going for the exam and you haven't studied pharma, you need some sort of quick review that you could get the main ideas and it will help you definitely for your exam. 
it's essential okay so look into it and see um and and you could just if you want to register i would recommend it if you're taking the august 2023 exam um if you've already taken our course you don't really need it because we have the review always going on in our course as well so only if you're not you if you haven't taken our course and you're taking the exam then you should check it out um i think that's pretty much it i'm just going to check my notes here to make sure i didn't miss anything that i wanted to share so we talked how the months which ones are equivalent to what so you understand that better okay you understood the concept of you know the results that are that are taking two months so you might miss the registration okay and the concept that you want to book the exam and take it if you feel more confident that you could pass or not necessarily confident but at least you did what you can to prepare you prepared well um don't gamble with an attempt uh just know the general concept if you book an afk exam and you take that um there's a high chance that you won't get a seat for the one after with the scheduling right unless there's any additional seats left right um, we talked about how some people will like this some people will hate it based on their position in this whole thing so if you take the exam you're going to hate it you're going to be like i want a chance to take the other one if i fail and if you you know if you didn't take the exam in august let's say you're going to say well i want priority to take the feb because those guys already got their chance right so everybody's going to look at it from that perspective and i did mention what is fair i think i think it is a fair approach to give others a turn and just differentiate that fair is not necessarily what's ideal. This is fair based on what is happening, but ideal would be just have more seats, right? Like to make more seats for everybody to accommodate all the applicants. Um, but ideal is not always practical. So, um, but in the, in what we have so far, it is fair, I would say. Right. Um, and that's pretty much it. Again, if you want book a consult, check the, afk farmer review and good luck and i'll see you guys in the next video oh and one more thing anything you have any ideas about this did you know of this concept or do you have anything to add to it please leave in the comments below share it with the community so we all learn from each other and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks